The CES Daily is brought to you by Roku. Patrick Norton here, CES 2010. We're outside the Las Vegas Convention Center right after seeing some of the new stuff coming out from Ford in the near future. Going to start at some nice Lincoln and Ford models. And what are we talking about? Ford Sync, of course, or where they're pushing Ford Sync in the future. My Ford Touch. Customization is key here. Starting, well, they used to have gauges in front of you. Now it's an LCD customizable dashboard. The big speedometer is not going away, but on the left and right, you can actually choose customizable modules. For example, vehicle personalization colors. All right, we're talking about the color accents on the displays and the cup holders, but more importantly, how about checking your cruise control, your mileage, the traction control, the subsystems on the engine, or bringing up the directions, left and right turn. How about that for the GPS navigation on the right side of the speedometer? Of course, the center of attention is right there in the center console, the big 8-inch touchscreen. Personalization and customization is here, and of course, the four corners, as they call it, phone, entertainment, navigation, and climate control, all in the touchscreen display. The coolest thing, though, are the brought-in mobile apps. They had an Android demo on display. They plan to have iPhone and BlackBerry on tap. The idea is that the Sync API control applications will run on top of the phone applications and be controlled via Bluetooth. You're looking at Pandora right now. You can pause, skip, or switch channels. They have OpenBeak, a Twitter client that will actually read the tweets to you out loud, and Stitcher, creating on-demand internet radio stations. You might know that one from the iTunes store. Hey, check it out. Revision 3 is on there. Of course, as we've seen in Ford in the past, inside the console, you have a USB port for charging and for, my personal favorite, upgrading the firmware on the car. When is this coming? Well, think 2011 vehicles, so later this year. I gotta say, bringing in applications through your phone, brilliant concept. I can't wait to see it in action because I want to see some of the stuff I use in my iPhone controllable from my steering wheel so I don't nearly kill everybody on my commute into work. You know what? That in a Raptor in the desert would be outstanding. I gotta go. I love the cup holder accent lights. If you want to find more new products from CES 2010, head over to revision3.com slash CES. We've got the crew from Texilla, HD Nation, and Hack 5 running around and looking for the good stuff. I'm Patrick Norton. We'll see you on the next one. The CES Daily is brought to you by Roku, the easiest way to watch Netflix movies, Revision 3 shows, and more on your TV. Starting at just $79.99, it's Netflix members' top-rated streaming player, and I use it myself. Go to revision3.com slash Roku. You can actually try one out risk-free for 30 days. Go get one.